Today we're out here looking at this uh, Savage A17 rifle. What this is, 17 HMR, which is uh, a dandy little cartridge. It's got one right here. This particular one's a 17 grain bullet. You can get them with 20 grain bullets, but it's 17 caliber, and they really come zipping out of here. Uh, 17 HMR has been around for probably around a decade now. Uh, jumped on as soon as it come out, really like it. It's just it's a good performing little round. Uh, People have tried semi-automatics before, some successful, some not. Most of them have given up on it because uh, uh, on a semi-automatic in a 17 with a blowback action, a lot of times the breech block opens quicker, the bolt opens too quick, letting out powder gases and can end up in a ruptured case unless you make a real heavy bolt and a heavy spring. What Savage did, they come in here and they've got a delayed blowback. There's a lock, a little locking lug comes up out of the top of the bolt into the steel receiver at the instant of firing it's locked uh, then just a millisecond after that it unlocks cycles perfectly and you have no problem with it cycles great I get uh, no problem out of here I get no blow uh, no more particles blowing out of the ejection port on this than to do any rim fire 22 or whatever like that I shoot left handed so you notice when stuff comes out of there but it's not a problem at all anyway it's got a 22 inch uh, tapered barrel tapers from an inch back here to the receiver to six tenths of an inch here at the front It's fully free floating generously free floating. There's a large channel in there So it's not going to touch the stock got a polymer stock a good rubber butt pad on it synthetic rubber It's got a uh, sling swivel studs as should any hunting rifle, but it's a uh, Good package weighs five pound ten ounces on my scale. It uses a 10 round rotary magazine which you know, Savage has been big on rotary magazines ever since uh, 1895. Uh, they didn't invent the rotary magazine, but they really uh, they pioneered it in this country. Works really well. The magazine, you got to make sure you lock it in good. It's a little harder to lock in than I like. You really got to press it to get it locked in there. But it does lock in and don't fall out. Uh, functionality, this rifle's function 100% reliable with every kind of ammo I've had. I got some that's a few years old. I was warned that. Uh, some older ammo might not have enough power to cycle it. That's no problem at all. Cycles it perfectly. The best ammo for it, as far as accuracy and power, is this new A17 ammo, which was uh, built specifically to run this gun. And it runs it really well. What I really like about the ammo, it's accurate because of the consistency. Some of the other logs I tried, I get variations from high to low of 100, about 185 feet per second. You can't get good accuracy if the ammo is not consistent. This is really consistent. Got a standard deviation of about 13. Extreme spread of I think about 35. So between the high and low. So that's a lot better ammo. And it shocks them. Amazing. Well, let me show you one here. Now, they wasn't all like this. The groups range with this ammo and this rifle from about one and the eighth inches to the largest group. But this one right here, that's three shots at 100 yards into one hole out of this rifle. Didn't do it every time, but it did do it occasionally. So it's good accuracy out of here. Uh, like I said, it, it functions 100%. Uh, uh, fires, ejects perfectly, no problem. It comes with these uh, scope bases already on here, 51S scope bases. Comes with two of those mounting, so put your scope on it. This is not uh, uh, my usual hunting scope. I put this on here to test for accuracy. This is my loophole Mark IV, 8.5 to 25 power. I use it whenever I want to see how, how accurate a rifle is. You know, you're not watching this video uh, to see how well I can shoot. You want to see how well this rifle can shoot. So I put a good scope on here. I use this Target Shooting Incorporated Model 500 rest. Gives me just, uh, it, it holds that rifle as steady as can possibly be held so we can uh, get the best grip possible out of it. Excellent rest from Target Shooting Incorporated. And we're going to shoot the rifle a little bit. We've fired some good groups with it and we'll. Uh, Report that in the review. Uh, some some ammo just wasn't as accurate as I had some groups over three inches, but um, that was various ammo. The A17 ammo was perfect with this rifle because it'll shoot any 17 HMR ammo. Well, that's my new favorite load right there, uh, particularly in this rifle. So we're going to shoot a little bit. I'm on. I hate to ruin good groceries, but we're going to shoot some cans, so, uh, a can of meat and a can of corn, and uh, let you see how. Explosive this little round is when it when it impacts the target. Do the same thing on prairie dogs, ground squirrels, whatever you need to shoot with it. A uh, little 17 HMR is a dandy cartridge, and it's a good rifle from Savage. It's a, uh, not too expensive, really well made. It's got a high polish um, uh, on the barrel, 
Uh, I think MSRP is date of this review is $465 U.S. money, which you can use to find one for less than that. So, it's a good rifle. I like it, and I highly recommend it. See, we pretty much ruined the can of corn. There's a little bit left in there to eat if you want to, but but not much in here on the on the can of generic spam from Walmart. There's the entrance hole, tiny little 17 caliber hole. But if you look at the back of it, it just blow the hole back out of that meat. That's what'll do the little chipmunk prairie dog, uh, whatever needs shooting around the neighborhood or whatever. It just it destroys it. The bullet just comes apart and, and blows it out. A lot of pressure. Uh, anyway, I hate to run a can of meat. Still smells good, so it's expired in 2010, but I try to keep a stockpile of this stuff around. It's still good for years. Don't worry about it if you have to eat some. I ate a can of it last year. It was 14 years old and uh, didn't hurt me none. Anyway, destructive little bullet. Does really well out of that savage. One thing it didn't... Um, Talk about over there when we're doing that part of the video. It does have the accu trigger in it. Savage got a dandy little accu trigger. They came out with it several years ago. It's a game changer. This one comes with a tool where you don't have to take the action out of the stock. You can adjust it uh, from the bottom of the rifle with the uh, action in the stock. So it's easily adjustable. Adjusted mine down about two and a half pounds as low as it would go. Good little uh, good little trigger for doing excellent accuracy work. It's a nice rifle and it's available now from Savage. <music>